Hi, this is Mike, and the purpose of this video will be to how to calculate the odds in the Powerball Lottery and the return to player for a Powerball Lottery ticket. Hey guys, this is Mike, and you are going to learn how to calculate the probabilities in the Powerball. Everyone on my forum is complaining my videos run too long, so I'm going to try to go through this, the math, faster than I've done in previous videos. Uh, let me go over the rules real quick. The lottery will draw five white balls numbered 1 to 69 without replacement, meaning that they can't draw the same ball twice, and one power ball from a different pool of balls uh, that's, uh, that can be numbered 1 to 26. And the player will do exactly the same thing and hope that his numbers match with those drawn by the lottery. I already put in the pay table here. Uh, for the jackpot, I put in $100 million to just put in anything. This video is going to assume that you're already familiar with the combin function in Excel, which is the number of ways to choose, say, X items out of Y. If you don't know how to do that, I recommend you watch my video on the probabilities in five card stud poker, which I just made yesterday. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. Um, there's obviously only one way that you can win the jackpot because you have to pick the exact numbers that the lottery did and there's obviously only one way to do that. Alright, if you get four out of the five white balls right and the power ball then you win ten thousand dollars. And before I forget to say this, a ticket costs two dollars. So what's the number of ways you can do that? Well, there are five choose four ways to cho that you can pick um, four out of the five numbers that the lottery picked, and 64 ways you could have picked the one number you didn't get right, because there are 64 numbers the lottery does not pick, and obviously only one way to get that Powerball. So 320 ways to get four out of five and the Powerball. If you get three out of five white balls and the Powerball, you get $100. The number of ways you can do that is five choose three because there are um, that many ways to get three out of the five lottery balls and 64 choose two ways to pick two of the losing balls out of 64. So 20,160 ways you can get three out of five in the Powerball. Uh, if you get two out of five and the Powerball, you win seven dollars. So the number of ways you can do that is uh, 416,640. If you get one number correct and the Powerball, you win four dollars. And there are about 3.2 million ways you can do that. And the number, and if you get no white balls correct, but you do get the Powerball, then you win $4. So if you get the Powerball, you always win at least something. So the number of ways to pick five numbers out of the 64 the lottery did not pick is about 7.6 million. Okay, now let's look at the combinations if you didn't get the Powerball. Those are going to be simply 25 times the number of combinations if you did pick the Powerball because the lottery will pick just one Powerball, meaning that there are 25 numbers in the Powerball bin that didn't get picked. So if you didn't get the Powerball, there's 25 ways you could not have picked it. So let's just multiply all these um, combinations we just did by 25. So you can see that the total number of combinations is 292,201,338. That is the same number that you often hear bandied around in the media as the probability of winning, meaning one in that 292 million figure. To calculate the expected return of your lottery ticket. Let's look at, let's calculate the probability of any given prize, which is the number of combinations divided by the total combinations. 
And now let's look at the expected return of any given prize, which is the probability of winning times the prize itself. And do that for every possible event. And for a jackpot of 100 million, we see that for the $2 ticket, you can expect to get back about 61.8 cents. That is equivalent to getting back about 30.9% of your money bet. Uh, here we can see that the jackpot of 100 million contributes about 34.2% to that return. Um, I mean, not percent, um, 34.2 cents to the value of that ticket. So for every 100 million in the jackpot, it's worth about 17.1% in expected return. Now, before people say this in the comments, this does not consider three very important things. Number one, if you hit the jackpot, it gets paid in an annuity, or you can take the lump sum option, which is 61% of that jackpot. Uh, number two, taxes. Um, if you win the jackpot, you can expect to pay a lot in taxes. I don't know the amount now after, I'm sure it's less after the big um, Donald Trump tax cut, but nevertheless, you can still expect to pay a pretty big portion in federal taxes, not to mention state taxes. And finally, jackpot sharing. Um, that's not much of a concern with the small jackpots, but when the jackpots start to get huge, like um, approaching half a billion dollars, then everyone starts playing and there's a distinct possibility of multiple winners, in which case you will have to split that jackpot with other winners if you win, probably. Uh, finally, let me say that the rules in California are different. They don't have fixed prizes, but everything is on a paramutual basis. So yeah, there you go. Um, bottom line, the Powerball, like all lotteries, are a horrible bet. I recommend you don't waste your money on them. Uh, for more information about the Powerball, I have a great deal of information on it on my website, Wizard of Odds, a whole section on the Powerball. It gets into the um, expected ticket sales by jackpot size and um, how uh, jackpot sharing affects your odds and yeah this has already run over um, as much time as I hoped so I will let it go with that thanks for watching